Well, clearly, did not like, oh, whoa. We'll go for some easy 360s, though. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to continue the 360. Welcome back today guys to the channel Gran Turismo 7 we're here back on the PlayStation 5 and I wanted to try something completely new now I was actually looking through the comments on my GT7 review that I did about 70,000 views at the moment huge thank you to everybody that did come by on there uh, we had a comment though from Big L 247 he goes I'm surprised slap hasn't tried the gyroscope steering option with the controller a whole video waiting just to be made it's what I race on and I love it great review for me the mandatory online connection is the worst part of the game it should simply not get in the way of single player content otherwise great game well huge thank you there big l uh for the inspiration of today's episode bed huge thank you to everyone coming around for today i just figured out how to get to this it took me a little bit here i actually couldn't find it but if we go into controllers wireless controller one you go up to steering and then you can choose the motion sensor function we already have the controller ready to go for today uh might as well go ahead turn this on and we're going to give our first impressions of the motion sensors here on the playstation 5 of course before we start today dad joke of the day coming from huey523 and he goes what's the best day to cook friday right that's an old one right there right but i do like it i haven't heard it for a bit leave me a better one down below huge thanks for watching and of course don't forget to slap that like button could drive something fast just go real hard with it right away rex vision gt3 concept stealth model we're diving into the deep end with this motion control i actually had this thing uh, for the Xbox, it's kind of the same, same, but different. It's a full steering wheel that they made with it. Pretty cool, um, right? It actually kind of feels like a wheel, so it's nice. It just, it's a little bit weird to hold when you're down here driving, but I don't know. If you guys have that, let me know how you enjoyed it. I'm, right? I mean, it was cool. You could use it on games that traditionally wouldn't even allow the capability of a wheel, right? Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that, right? So it was cool for that aspect. But. Sardegna, road track. I actually do like this track quite a bit. This is on the daily races, at least from GT Sport. I don't know if you guys have been running the dailies. If you have, let me know in the comments uh, how you're enjoying them. I'm actually probably going to get into them this week. Let's see how this works here. I'm going to try to keep my elbows on my chair just to kind of balance me out. Oh, I'm trying to use my stick. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see how this works. Well, obviously, this thing is a pretty fast car. It's going to take me a little bit to understand. Okay, well, obviously, my wrist can't go that fast. What the? Racing hearts. You should have quite a bit of grip. Now, I... I mean, if you can get good with this, I'm going to take my elbows off the, uh... Oh! I say... Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I feel drunk. It's weird trying to find a good... Right, fix my damn chair. There we go. I feel like I have a little bit more movement now. Wow. Yeah, and then you got to make sure you're... Okay, this is weird. Imagine drifting with this. How would you drift? You just throw it. See if we can hit a damn good corner here. Go. Oh man. I'm terrible. I have a better idea here. We're gonna go traction control, put it up to three so I don't have to worry about traction. I keep I totally forgot about that. I'm gonna go front braking pressure and let's see if we can see if we get a clean race here maybe. It's a good fresh start. Actually try. Oh, I gotta remember, yeah, I have traction control. I just want to be able to just drive, not have to worry about fixing or overcorrecting or doing any of that. I mean, maybe if I'm drifting, but right now, I'll just be happy if I can complete a race here. Right? That is actually pretty cool. Is it more fun than using the triggers? Or, I mean, than using the sticks? I don't know. I mean, this is pretty wild, though. We're just sitting here moving the controller. I mean, for all those people as a kid, I always remember watching people playing games and they'd be swinging the controller, moving their bodies to get to where they need to be. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was going to be so nice. Right now, they can finally do that with these damn controllers here. PlayStation gave them the option to just... Right? This is quite fun, actually. We're definitely doing a drift run here, though, today. We're going we're gonna to see how it drifts. Oh, boy. I got it. I got it. I got it. I feel like this would be quite the uh, rush online here, right? Make one small move. Is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll shift. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, maybe. Oh yeah. I keep trying to use this. Doesn't even work. We're gonna try in third person view here. I know it seems weird, but bear with me. Bear with me. Oh boy. Can we make a corner? I'm trying to find the best way to hold this damn thing. And I think it's. 
with my index finger on the trigger so I can kind of not worry about anything else and then get right back on it. It's a little bit weird because I don't hold the controller like that. Oh, oh, oh. I just heard my wrist crack because it hasn't been moving like this in so long. Oh, my. Big hit. And we got a cross line. Okay. Um, car's quick. I will give it that. This is a very fast car. I do remember a lot of people saying that this is now the, you know, the new OP car online, which very well could be. I mean, it seems like it is. Well, Mercedes AMG C-Class, C63S. Oh, I'm definitely down about this one here. Let's try this. We've completed all of these. Is it Rupert that's at the cafe or who? Oh my God. Oh, this is the car that I just was talking about too. Perfect. It's the same car. AMG collected. Yeah, I just, I just got this the other night. It's a sleek looking car. I love this thing. Luca. Sorry, it's Luca. AMG collection. Once you've collected your reward, right? Four star roulette ticket. Thank you. That's huge. Indeed, these three letters have become synonymous with high performance. Former Mercedes-Benz race engineers started out as a tuning shop that specialized in Mercedes-Benz race engines. One of their famous projects was a bright red race car that housed a rather special engine. Yeah, that was the one from uh, Project Cars first time, no? That's where that thing popped in there. The car is a Mercedes-Benz AMG 300 SEL 6.8. The engine was originally capable of 226 horsepower, but thanks to them, nearly doubled to 394. Damn. Car took on an impressive second place at the spa 24 hours in 71. That is impressive. Got the wide body kit too. Damn. I want that car. How do I get that one? I want that one, GT7. And the company started to develop the following as a premier tuner of Mercedes-Benz cars. In 99, the company became part of Mercedes-Benz, where it continues to produce specialized high-performance models. I would drive the hell out of this car if I had it. Oh my god. Let's get this thing going today. We're gonna go ahead and drift this, hopefully, with the motion control. Oh shit. I totally forgot to even use I did it again. It did it last time too. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's 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 interesting, but it's fun. I'm just trying to make sure I stay in frame here. That's the biggest thing. Okay. Well, clearly, did not like. Oh, whoa! I'm going for some easy 360s, though. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to continue the 360. I know it's good wood and all, but it's impressive. <laughs> We're gonna take off our blinkers. Put our four ways on. Okay. Oh my goodness. This car is also way overpowered for what we're trying to accomplish, I feel like. Oh, there we go. My thumb wants to click on the damn middle pad for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yikes! I suck. You're just kind of driving around with no force feedback, <laughs> is what this is. I mean, you don't have any feedback to what the car is doing. And that's one of the biggest problems that I kind of am finding right now. I mean, it's great for racing, and if you have traction control on, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I mean, personally, I know people that have used this, and it's worked great for them. And I know people that have used this, and they hate it. So, I mean, it just really depends on how you're going to, you know, drive your build. Like, you can't feel the car start to kick out almost. I, I don't know. It's, it's very interesting. It's almost a little bit frustrating, to be completely honest with you. That's why I'm going to back out right away. Quick sip here on my coffee. Over to, uh, let's do Mount Panorama. Let's do one lap on here. We'll go with the drift trial as well, too, once again. Morning. We'll bring out the same car. However, what I am going to do is change up the tires. I want to actually uh, go on some sport hards. Maybe we'll throw on rears with the comfort hards, just to kind of get some grip on there. Eh, you know what? No, yeah. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think we're gonna be able to drift really much, you know, either way, but I figured, I'm always looking at my camera to make sure my damn hands are in focus here, it's weird. But I'm always, uh, right, I mean, this is something that you don't usually do, I mean, at least when you're trying to drift, at least nowadays. But, hey, it is weird to kind of hold the triggers down and turn your hand at least this way for me i don't know I, my my hand doesn't want to like turn that way on maybe go for a little iced coffee drink here mm -hmm. oh shit sorry okay 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 
Hey! There we go! Gonna save this, thank you. Hands up, great hands up. Oh my I hate these builds. Stand dual motion? But they're fun. Like, I feel like I'm trying to fumble my controller around. I really do hope that you guys can feel my pain. Because I wanted to try this. And... Obviously, I just overbuilt the car probably too. I'll tell you that right now. It's not an easy thing. We're going to try something crazy. Okay, well, that was kind of looking good. But completely unintentional. I was not meaning to go that way. <laughs> okay, we're going to play with music that doesn't actually have music. So we can just see some better camera angles that'd be nice but yeah that was tough we're gonna do uh one more run here on suzuki east because i want to actually put a run in with this to see how it competes if we can even complete a run with this thing to be completely honest with you because it's just it's not looking good like the car looks good car looks great performance wise yeah exactly my thoughts right in the wall garbage yeah this is the run that i was looking for here i think yeah right on the uphill we took a couple wall bangs there, and then... Perfection! Let's go! I didn't know it was that close. One more time, one more time. Look too good not to. Let's get a different view here, maybe... Oh, yeah. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near where I want to be on this, but we're going to probably give it our best shot today. Hopefully complete one lap. That's the goal, one lap. Debating on what view I want to run also because that's a big deciding factor in how your car is going to perform too. I feel like cockpit view might be a little bit of a better option for me. Third person just always is twitchy as I spin out of course. Okay. Just get it together here. As <laughs> sideways over the line. You can clearly see the problems that I'm having with this though. That's the biggest thing is the holding. Okay. You guys tried this let me know your best score on suzuki east with the dual motion control i'm very very curious a little break yeah maybe you get fourth gear no it's just it's not good it's not good what i am going to do though we're going to change cars let's actually use something that can drift just to make sure just to make sure i'm going to use my s13 it's a little horsepower yeah it's a uh, very interesting setup i mean for racing it seems to be great because you don't really need to do much you just got to go like this Right, just bang bang, go through the corner maybe a little bit more on some of the hairpins, but for the most part, it's not bad. For drifting though, I don't know. I mean, it may work for you. I don't think it's working that well for me as I'm killing this corner right now. It's just it's a little bit awkward. Right, I'm like trying to find the damn trigger sometimes. I'm trying to get off of it. There we go. Yeah. No. Why is it so difficult? <laughs> I can't believe how crazy this is. Throw it. I kind of threw that. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to watch this today. This is painful. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work for today. Ladies and gentlemen, dual motion controls. Will I be revisiting this for a part two? I'm sure you've probably guessed the answer by now, right? The answer is going to be no. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Let me know if you guys do in the comment section down below. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow morning with a uh, big turbo Supra drift build. I think, I think I'm going to do it finally, right? I just got the car. I think I'm going to go ahead. Right? I think I'm going to give it some upgrades tonight. Maybe make a nice little drift build on it. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.